As you saw in the first video of this series, enabling deep linking to an app is incredibly simple. But deep links have more potential than just opening apps. They can also pass information between apps and between websites and apps. So enabling your app to receive information from other apps and websites is actually very simple. Just like adding a deep link. In your apps delegate, you're going to want to add a special function that will handle that data coming in from deep links. This is the this is the reference for the function on the Apple developer website. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this to save the effort of typing it out. Once you have this function, just add a curly bracket at the end and enter. As you can see, it comes up with an error. Just ignore these. You don't need to worry about them at the moment, although you do want to delete that and it has to return a boolean, so we're just going to assume it all worked and return true. So this will give you your information that's coming through that deep link. And just for a quick example to show you that that information is there, we're going to add a print line just to prove that we're receiving that information, we're just going to print line it from this function. So copy and paste this URL, probably don't need to copy it, but that's all you need to do. And this will print the function, this will print the URL received. Again, a blank app will open because we haven't done anything. Click the home button, go to Safari, type in our URL, and we're going to add something after this, so let's make it something. So I'm really original. Take it to your app. If we look down the bottom in our console, it shows us deep link app and the URL we typed. Most likely, when we're going to be doing this, we're just going to want this bit, the bit after the two strokes. To get that, we just type dot host. And we're going to make it a string so it displays properly with an exclamation mark at the end because it's an optional. Again, it opens up. we we'll click the home button to take us back to the next screen. Open Safari. And something. Again. And the app it opens up again. As you can see, in the console we just get that something. And from here, you can really do whatever you want. I'm going to do another video showing you how to display that text on the screen, as well as one showing you how to go to different view controllers depending on what was received in the deep link.